I got my large drink and I got that. You went out of there and I, I went. He sounds like a Looney Tunes character. Beham. Beham. <laughs> that was a drunk guy sounds. Beham. Do it again. Do it again. Pretty cool. Beham. <laughs> well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. Ladies and gentlemen, this episode is brought to you by Satva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit. Go there and get $200 off any mattress of your choice. I'm a huge fan. I've slept on all of them. You got to try one. Stick your dick in the wrong place. Oldy but goody. Yep. That's a classic. Yep. Stick your dick in the wrong hole. From 2016. Wow. That, yeah. ah, that long ago. Yeah. Very wow. cool. I have to fart. You do? I'm going to pee on myself first. There it goes. <laughs> I don't want to push too hard. Yeah. Stick your dick in the wrong hole. Well, I'll just so you know, I hated every moment of that. <laughs> Thanks for... <laughs> you know what we were discussing this yesterday because you were like i gotta take a shit and i'm like you're you're never not shitting you're never not either you're just having shit you're ramping up to take a shit you just farted on one of the kids and then you're gonna take a shit it's uh, it, if it's not you that's ramping up or coming down from a shit it's one of the kids everybody's always I like how you shitting. took yourself out of this equation i mean i just farted that was the first time i've Pushed a fart out in front of you in, in, in hours, I would say. Hours might be accurate. Yeah. <laughs> you're just an absolute, you're a brown machine. Me? I yeah. wish. My browns have slowed down lately, and I don't know why. I've been taking my vitamins, drinking my vitamin water, making You've been fitness. doing the, the walk and fart where you just walk and fart all the time. <laughs> I did not. It's horrible. You do it all the time. Around the house? Yeah, you're like, all right, well, I'm going to go get that. And you turn and you... <laughs> You fart as you walk. I like that. And then you go, what's that? Oh, did I say something? It's horrible. Oops. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's horrible. Oopsie. I hate it so much. Oh, stop. I do. I hate it. You don't hate it. I hate it. Don't lie. You I know what it. I hate. I hate it. D what do you want me to do? Hold it in and feel yes, sick? Yes. Yes. Feel sick. Yes. I want you to feel that I way. hate holding in a fart. It's the, that to me is like, I'd rather be alone. I'd rather be divorced than hold in farts. Honestly, to not be myself, to not be free. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather die? No, I'm being serious. Like I yeah, being... sign me up. Where? When do we? When? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was gonna have a fun hypothetical. Oh, that is a fun hypothetical. Go ahead. I'm telling you, what if one of these one day I just start going? I don't want to hear your farts anymore or your burps, babe. Okay. And you had to seal it up. You had to just hide it all. Yeah. I mean, wouldn't okay. you feel so sad? No. Oh, stop. That's a huge part of your identity. It is not a part of my identity. Burping and farting. No, it's not. It's all you do. I think you're projecting. I would like you to go 24 hours just to see if you can without the, the, barping, the barping, fact, barping or farting in front of me. The fact that you're this delusional is terrifying. <laughs> what? Because you are a 24-hour, 365-day-a-year sound effect machine of burping and it's all you do i actually hold them in sometimes no you yeah don't. i do oh stop. i swear to god when? i swear to god 
When? Picture a time where I didn't fart then. Let's see who can go the longest without burping. I'd farting. love to do this. Okay. <laughs> you just did. You just went. Tss. It's not a burp. No, was I that a burp? I, no, no. What no. was that? You went. Tss. It's just air leaving that's... my mouth. I didn't burp. I swear to God, I didn't burp. No, but that's how you burp. You go. Tss. That's not what I that's did. That's one of yours. That's. Okay, let's see who can go the longest. So it's on? It's on. Okay, and what is the prize or punishment for this? You have to give this? me cuddles and head scratchies for an entire hour. You won't hear me fart for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you get then? Blowy central. Fine. Yeah. Fine. Okay. But we're on now. You guys are you guys are refereeing this. I I think we're gonna have a hard time getting through this podcast without this podcast. You burping. Burping is a little more of a challenge. I mean, yeah, you burp a lot. Yeah, so do you. Yeah, but who burps more, Tom or me? That's kind of hard to say. I mean, I <laughs> yours register a lot more with me. Like I react to yours. That's because mine are barkier. Maybe there's more of a bark. You fart a lot too. Not as much as you. That's not true. Not as much That's as not you. That's not true. You're no, just, no, no, you're no, no. A, absolutely, you're a, a liar. On <laughs> oh my God. You're such I, a psycho. Can I tell you something? Psycho, right? I wish there were, there was a way that we could quantify both our burps. Can we hire somebody to follow us around? For 24 hours and count our burps. I think parts? that's a huge waste of money. I don't think we need to do that. Why? It's important. It's important data. <laughs> Let's start the show. <laughs> I was respectful, but you came and knocked on the door while I was changing my tampon. I yelled and cursed at you because you're telling me I was in there for too long, and too long was five minutes while I'm changing my tampon. Who is Randy? Who is Randy? Your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. Now, <laughs> now. How do you get a job here, you fuck face? Uh, Starbucks always has really interesting employees. We've met a few. Um, so this is at a Starbucks where the lady is very upset. She's being asked to leave, but she was mad that the employee was knocking on the door. Well, hold on. While she was changing her bloody tampon. But, yeah, but he said, you're disrespecting our third place. Our third place. Do you know what that means? What? Well, as a former barista, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this. I worked at Starbucks in the summer of 1997, <sighs> San Fernando Valley, yeah. Reseda and Ventura Boulevard. And um, the third place is what Starbucks culturally refers to as you have your first place is your home, your second place is your office, and the third place is Starbucks. So people are meant to use Starbucks as, quote, their third place. So oh. he's accusing her of disrespecting their third place, okay. I believe is what's happening. Okay. He's not an employee because he is not wearing official Starbucks uniform. I believe he is an employee that took off his shittle tater. He did? Yeah. Maybe he's getting off of work too. And it's like he's doing this as he leaves, you know? Because well, how else could he enforce, I'm not letting you do this? He I think. I think he works there. But he's not wearing pants. Okay, so you can either wear khakis or black pants. Those are kind of khaki. Maybe they are. Yeah. All right, let's see what's happening. Checking to make sure everything was paid. You told me yeah, I've never been checked on at Starbucks. I mean, that'd be great if you were my personal friend and you wanted to check on me, but since I don't know you and you're a stranger, I think you should have left me alone when I'm in your toilet. And you've already gotten oh, in trouble, this, this establishment, for not being fair to African American people and the toilets. And now you want to do this to women? 
Oh, now it's a Ooh. women's issue. Uh-oh. Take it to those black men, huh? I wasn't involved oh, in that situation. I know you weren't. Okay. And I, I know you have no time, knowledge of I it. I do have to ask you to leave the property. If you don't, it's criminal trespassing, and you will be prosecuted in law enforcement. Okay, call the police. Let's involved. call the police, okay? Okay, good, because I'd love to tell them. Uh, this establishment. Oh, no, I'm not waiting anywhere but in here. I want to use a restroom to change my pad. Ugh. Nasty. I don't have to do anything except change my except change my tampon. That's what I need to do as a woman. If I were you, okay? I would either figure out another location, maybe go to the gas station and ask the bathroom. Yeah, That's I'm not, dirty. because I came here to do it. Mm. I like this. This is good energy. <laughs> <laughs> She's got like fed smokery. Yeah, it's well, but I, I don't, I don't know. I kind of feel like you know he was always wrong. Um, <laughs> he was always ruining somebody's day. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I get it. She's she's trying to change her. I mean, the guy was like, "You're in there a long time." That's kind of weird to begin with, you know. Uh, this is true because I've been in. Look, I have been at Starbucks as a, obviously as a customer where you wait a long time because someone's really yeah. pushing out a crazy dump in there. Yeah. And you just have to, and, and of course, I've, I've, you know, jiggled the door. You jiggle. But for an employee to be like, what's going on? You all right in there? And someone's changing themselves. Like, it's like, it's. I know. But she could be giving off weirdo vibes. She's kind of a weirdo. Before she went in yeah, there. And they were weird. like, are you shooting heroin? Yeah. Or are you starting a fire? Yeah. Are you taking drugs, lady? And she's. And I guess, allowed, I, I guess now. I'm allowing you to do it now. Oh, okay. Well, they never were allowing me to do it. Let's just and be clear. Have been in here in the first place. I shouldn't have been in here in the first place. If they don't allow you to do it. No, no, no. I mean, when I went to the bathroom, I was in the middle of cleaning up blood, and he <sighs> knocked on the door and said I was taking too long, and if he could, if there was anything that, you know, if it was matter, maybe I could hurry up and come uh, out. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It still sounds to me like I'm still on her side right now. I'm still on her side. And of what I know, it seems like the... Employee was uh, overstepping, in my opinion. I can go hands on if I want to. You want to go hands on? That's what you want to do today. If I have to, I can't. Because I, I want to change my pad, and I'm a paying because customer. Because I want you to go somewhere else to do it. Because the people and who also, have the right let me to do it. Who are you? I'm screaming. My husband is dying. I'm going to come in here because I need to leave the room. I need you to leave the room. If you work here, that's fine, but I need you to leave the installation. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's quite a day at this Starbucks That was location. wild. Do you understand yeah. what happened there? Because She's think like, I my pretty... husband's dying. And, and I'm... your argumentative like tantrum right it's... now is disrupting the little bit of peace that I have. It's triggering her And now. then the guy that threw the lady out of the bathroom came over and consoled her. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he is wearing khaki. By the right? way, if you're going to cry like that, could you and you look like that? Could you do it somewhere else? Like that was horrible. To you watch. mean she was unattractive? Yes. Yeah, I agree. Don't get on camera. Ugh. You no, know you're. She's like. <laughs> <laughs> she was uh, an ugly. It was cry. so upsetting. She was very ugly crying. Yeah. So maybe I could hurry so up and come out. What that is is um, is one of the reasons that we actually were hired by the landowner, the person who owns the the complex. Is this establishment and a couple of the ones over there, the nail salon and the Vietnamese restaurant, have an insane problem with all the homeless people. Just okay, coming. I am not. I am not homeless. So my problem that they have with homeless people is not my She seems problem. like an I'm asshole. Let's customers. be honest. She does seem kind of like an asshole. I've already spent... No, 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 no. You're insulting me and you're insulting my womanhood. <laughs> I mean, I mean she's, she is a... Look, she's a lot. I wouldn't recommend dating her. No. But I do think if she went in there... It sounds like she spent money. I yeah. believe her. Then you have a right to change your bloody. And she takes her time in the bathroom. Yeah. It's like yeah. I mean, I think it feels like they're harassing her a little could bit. Could be, could be. I don't know. I could be wrong. But, but I will say, like when I worked at Starbucks, you never, we never messed with the hobos that would go in there and do drugs and shit. Like you just let the hobo shit. Like you said, you know what the power move is right now. The for flow her? of traffic will will get them out. Yeah, the move right for her right anything. now is to drop her pants. Take her tampon, yep. throw it on the ground, yeah. <laughs> turn around and shit on the floor. <laughs> that is the power move. Yes. That's gangster. Dude, I could not agree. And then I she think you and I up. finally see eye to eye yeah. on something And then the today. people are like, oh my gosh. She's like, yeah, I'll go fucking find somewhere else to go now. And yeah. then leave her mess there. That's a really, you know what, Tom? When you're right, you're right. And I think we need to be more inclusive. Shouldn't there just be like, period changing bathroom stations everywhere yeah 
like on the streets, like I, I'd change my pad. There's just I mean, be like a pad changing. Of course, you poor women, you're bleeding out of your pussy holes every month, and like there, people not being compassionate about that. No, I know there should be more of a structure for us to yeah. change our pussy pads and stuff. Yeah. Like you said, <sighs> you're right. Yeah, pretty cool. Oh, let's talk about my chore, guys. Your chore? I'm choring. I'm going to Breast Balls Beach. Uh, January 21st and 20th. And then I go to Fat Fattison, Texas. How's that? At the, what did I call it before? I don't remember. I don't know. Uh, February, oh, white baby, bro. February 2nd and 3rd and 4th. And then Portland, Oregon, one night, March 31st. Revolution Hall. Revolution. April 1st, Rohnert Park, California. Chicago, Illinois. April 29th, April 30th. Dr. Drew is like fucks bitches like crazy. Milk Cocky, Wisconsin, Turner Hall. Are you retarded? <laughs> May 13th, Browns, Browns. Just give people the right name. Charleston. Yeah. West Virginia. Holly yeah. Lucas, Christina Pia Online. Missing persons. Missing okay. persons. And buy my lipstick. It's really good. It's been selling out like crazy and you guys love it and I'm couldn't it really be happier. Has been. I, it's been ban bonkers bananas. Banankers, as they say. Yeah. It comes from Italy. It's on back order, but just order it and we'll send it to you the minute we get it in. I don't want to go to Italy. <laughs> Your dad never wanted to go outside of America. For what? <laughs> they speak Italian. Don't speak Italian. <laughs> go to a museum, you see the painting and you're like, I saw it. Now what? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> very cultured very cool he did yeah. keep it real like that that's one way of describing it yeah but he does have a point because i gotta be honest with you yeah. salami tommy yeah. yeah if we were to go to perry or yeah. italy yeah. now yeah unless we took our children and wanted to show them culture mm -hmm. I, I have no reason to go into a museum or a church anymore and this is where we're different <laughs> What the hell are you talking about? I've seen enough. Okay. I, I like the Tate Gallery in London. Yeah. LDN. I would go there. Mm hmm Don't care. Don't care about the Louvre anymore. Really? I've seen art. I've seen those fancy things. I've seen paintings. art. I like to see the new stuff. Okay. The fun stuff, like cows cut up. What's that guy's name at the Tate? The Modern Gallery. I don't know. Famous. Don't know. Cutting up cows. What? Cutting up horses. What? Tate, Tate Gallery. I like okay. sectioned up a cow. <laughs> I saw that in London a long time ago. Really? Cockney? Michael Cutting up Cockney. cows? Uh, Damien Hurst. Okay. Yes, Damien Hurst. They cut up cows. He sectioned oh, them you up. you like that? I like that kind of art. Okay. Rooms full of oil. Oof. Damien Hurst. I like that. Yeah. All right. But I don't care about, I don't, I don't know. Do you want to go look at churches anymore? Churches, not so much. Muse art museums I like. Like the old timey stuff, like oil, oil paintings and such. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'd go to the like Renaissance. Prado. Yeah, I'd go to the Reina yeah. Sofia. I'd go to the Louvre. Uh, the Louvre. Yeah. The Louvre. 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 Um. Well, I'm just not a very good person. But the other day, I wanted to share this thought with you, because I was on the airplane. Yeah. And there was a really obese woman sitting next to me, like yeah. really obese. Okay. Yeah. And she's sitting in the window. I'm sitting in the aisle, first class, obviously, right, Tom? Yeah. And, and I'm like, oh, whoa, like, she's really big. I wonder if she's going to be able to fit in the seat. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. will she spill over into mine? Yeah. I keep these thoughts to myself, obviously. Of course. The but natural I am, thoughts. I am thinking these thoughts of like, whoa, how is this going to go down? And I notice that she's big. She's trying to get her seatbelt on. She can't. And then very quietly and very lovely and discreetly, the flight attendant hands her an extender, like kind of tucks it in. And I was like, that's so nice, right? And then she starts getting into the seatbelt extender. Well, what I noticed about myself is I pretended like I didn't see the flight attendant hand her the extender. Mm -hmm. And then in my head, I congratulated myself for being compassionate yeah and like aren't i noble that yeah. i pretended to not notice that she's morbidly obese and that she needed that thing and like i really patted myself on the back <laughs> and also you tell you tell yourself uh like good acting job right where you're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, i've like, done that too i was like i really sold that you know? yeah. yeah so good yeah where you like where you see it and then you you like <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, I missed that totally. I, totally like, I saw that, but I sold that so well. Nobody knows. Yeah. And you're like, I'm pretty good. Yeah. I'm like, a good person. Yeah, yeah. Like I totally patted myself on the back for being like this really compassionate, high minded, nice person who like did I didn't want to further her shame. Yeah. I'll and tell you another one I do. Yeah. I uh sometimes I'll compliment a woman, but oh. only if she's notably unattractive. <laughs> and uh and then I'll be like, that was a really nice gesture. Yeah, today. you really yeah. did something good. Yeah. January means dealing with customer emails, returns, gift card purchases, and the inevitable increase in postage costs. Stamps.com teamed up with the post office to get you huge mailing and shipping discounts up to 86% off. It's a new year no-brainer for your small business. Print your own postage right from your home or office within minutes of signing up and never stress about finding the fastest and cheapest shipping solutions. Stamps.com does it for you automatically. We've been using stamps.com for more than a decade, and we are huge, huge fans of the time saving and the money saving they provide. For more than 20 years, stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses. Get access to the USPS and UPS services you need to run your business right from your computer anytime, day or night. No lines, no traffic, no waiting. Start the new year by saving serious money on mailing and shipping. Get started with stamps.com today. Sign up at stamps.com slash mom for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com slash mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But do you do it to feel good about yourself? Well, I can tell that like she's not getting it, you know? Yeah. So uh, I'll do that and then I'll be like, that was a good job. That was really nice of you, you know? <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah. Or like if there's somebody in a wheelchair in public oh. coming at me. Oh yeah. And like I don't look at the fact that they don't they're missing a leg or something. Yeah. And I'll like intentionally like uh, look, not stare at it and I'll be like, look how good of a person I am that I didn't even look over there. Yeah. Like I wanted to look and see what they were missing or what was going on, but I didn't because I'm Dude, so noble. The I'm other so one good. I do <laughs> is I'll treat somebody with a disability like just like a person. <laughs> Like, I'm serious. And, like, like yeah. you'll go out of your way. Yeah, I'll be like, yeah, hey, do you know what time it is? Yeah. And, um, and they're like, oh, you know, it's it's one thirty, And I'll be like, oh, thanks, man. I just don't want to miss this. And the whole time I'm like, um, look at like, the gesture of, like, making them feel like you want to talk. To I don't want to talk to them. But I know that, totally. that they're not getting talked to a lot. Yeah. You know? So, um, and then I'll leave and I'll yeah. be like, I made that person think that I just randomly yeah. started a conversation. Yeah. I was trying to give them a little dose of humanity, you know? <laughs> Yeah, and I'll be proud of myself. Like the rest of the day, I'll Me be like, too. "You deserve a treat." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. Like, okay, so there was this guy that had like, real, like, pretty Aspergers. Yeah. That I met the other day, and I treated him like a normal person. Yeah. And I felt really, and I was like, "Oh, really? Like, tell me more about that yeah, video yeah, game yeah. you're interested in, or whatever." And like, I really listened. To him. Yeah. And it's I a felt, really. And it's so selfish. I'm like, am I just like I'm? I am being nice, so that's a win. But then am I? Or am I a piece of shit because I'm sitting here congratulating myself about yeah. what a great person I am? Like, what's Pretty the motivation, rad. you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know exactly how you feel. But are we pieces of shit? Because Well, yeah, but <laughs> we're still doing the right thing in each of those scenarios. Right. Like yeah. you're doing the right thing, but then you're not supposed to admit that you get a zing out of like being a high-minded no but I mean, it, it's a good feeling like, right but I'm mean, a piece of shit for having that good feeling <laughs> no you're not a piece of shit for having that good feeling but you know I mean basking in it a little bit I do right? I'm yeah. like I'm so good yeah I do the same thing I'm so noble I do the same thing <laughs> so and it feels right it feels good it does <laughs> yeah it really does because I was so proud of myself that I treated that obese woman like a regular yeah person you know yeah you know the the danger by the way when i compliment the unattractive woman yeah is that <laughs> she'll be like oh let's continue this conversation i'm like i already did the good deed i did the nice thing <laughs> That's want, yeah, yeah you got enough yeah yeah i don't want to be like, yeah yeah friends i'm not trying to ask you out i was trying to be a decent person okay yeah because yeah. that could definitely happen yeah where she's like oh my god this guy's like this guy's really into me uh no no you're just being nice yeah yeah i'm like oh that's a lovely sweater and she's like 
thank you. And I'm like, yeah, I just made your day. And then she's like, where, where are you flying to? And you're like, oh, boy. Dog chat. Yeah. yeah. Not where you're going, believe me. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I thought you'd like that because I was like, that was such a dark feeling after I was like, why am I proud of myself for not, I'm proud of myself. Not proud of myself. For like, not f like pretending like I didn't see that. Yeah. You know? Very cool. Because I, you know me, I have a hard time hiding any kind of emotions or thoughts. Mm -hmm. I think that's really what I'm mostly proud of is like, I, I for once I didn't, you, like I hid a, an emotion. I yeah. actually didn't say the fucking thing I'm always thinking like an autistic person. Like I actually just fucking like, do you think yeah. I'm on the spectrum a little? A little bit. They might be. So a few years ago, I met <laughs> this guy. I thought I was in love. I moved away with him after I just got clean off of heroin. <laughs> Um, I started doing other drugs. Uh, he told me if I wanted to be with him that I would get my face tattooed. Cool guy. Um, went and got my face tattooed, got clean. Uh, he went to jail. I went to jail. Uh, we stopped seeing each other. Damn. Um, fast forward to like a year after I got clean. I uh, asked my parole officer, I said, hey, what do you think about me getting my uh, tattoos removed? And she was like, I don't even see them, but do whatever you want. So here I am. Yeah, your parole officer lied to you about that. Um, I don't even see him. And just yeah. for you guys listening, this poor woman has the Dia de los Muertos skull eyes and then the lips like stitch and the forehead stitches and the forehead tattooed and then on her neck is like a biohazard it's a lot and this is all drogas that's the Egan. thing heroin yeah. is the best but it also makes you <laughs> <laughs> make some bad decisions ha sometimes how heroin's the best but it's not good it's not good for you it's but it does good. feel the best for you i bet it sure does yeah because um, i've done because isn't oxys oxys are like heroin and medical pill form right it's op opioids it's uh, from the pocket. yes yes same shit different toilet opioids, yeah 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 it's good it's stuff the it's the shit yeah it's so good get it um don't pull this up yet i'll read this first uh this is just a cool story um police say 26 year old katie quackenbush shot a homeless man gerald melton 54 after he complained about loud music and exhaust fumes from her porsche <laughs> while he was trying to sleep on a sidewalk at 3 a.m first of all good for you katie um, police say that after a loud <laughs> argument, Quackenbush got out of her vehicle with a gun and shot Melton twice in the Jeez. abdomen before leaving the scene. Quackenbush claims Cl Melton threatened her life. I believe it. And she was defending herself. Melton suffered critical injuries but survived. She will not serve jail time. What? But was ordered to serve nearly a full year probation for misdemeanor reckless endangerment after having initially been charged with attempted murder. And we have the... Uh, they got that bump down to a misdemeanor? Look at her. She doesn't look very, what's the word? I'm like repentant. Bothered? Yeah. How did she get that knocked down to a misdemeanor? She shot a man. I don't know. She has a <laughs> Porsche, which is very cool. Oh, gosh. Um, I wish they had more details on what model and uh, <laughs> what color. color. Yeah. yeah. Was it a Panamera? I do like those. Also, the nerve, the balls of this man to be like, your exhaust fumes are bothering me while I sleep. Fucking move. I know, Let's he's see. homeless. Keep going. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Quacking bush. Uh, oh, she went brunette for her trial. Smart. Oh, that's her there? Oh. Apologized to the victim during her sentencing, but also played the victim, Shang. She's been mocked online. Yeah, I feel yeah. bad for you. Keep going down. There she is. She's pretty. She's yeah. very pretty. Uh, and... A mom of four. Ooh. Wow. Oh. She's got four kids? Yeah, that's maybe why they Oh, let there her it out. is. Scroll down. There's an SUV. Oh, so she had like a Macan or a Cayenne. Uh, I thought we were talking 911. Fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Melton is the homeless man, right? Melton yeah. and Quackabush got into a heated argument during which the woman allegedly asked if the man, quote, wanted to die tonight. Melton testified in court that he was walking away when Quackenbush exited her car and fired two shots striking him in the abdomen shit quackenbush then got back in her porsche and drove with the passenger to taco bell before heading home oh wow she's cold as fuck yeah neither she nor her companion initially reported the shooting to the police wow. melton survived the shooting but required three surgeries prosecutors said quackenbush was arrested and indicted on charges of attempted first degree murder 
and aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. So she got it down from first I degree. Know. But then she got How the, the jury fuck? found her guilty of reckless endangerment, a misdemeanor. What? After oh, but so she really sold that she was scared of scared him. Scared of and that's, him. That's what happened. And she's a mom. And her father, who was an attorney, previously claimed uh, the gun threatened to kill his daughter if she did not lower the vehicle volume. My daughter told him I have a gun. Get the fuck away from me. She pulled off. She pulled off one round as a means of warning, not intending to kill her or, or hit him. She thought she pointed the gun far away enough from him just to scare him. At the sentencing, the prosecutors questioned Quackenbush, claimed that she was afraid of Melton saying. An eyewitness heard the woman say she was not frightened of the man, but did not take the words seriously. Wow. Jeez. So, yeah, this is a... Uh, oh, hold on. Assistant District Attorney Amy Blah 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 also brought up Quackenbush's disturbing history of making threats against others. In one instance, the woman admitted to threatening to hit a baby with a brick. In another case, Quackenbush poured water on a woman in a restaurant. <sighs> Okay, Quackenbush apologized to Melton for her actions, but also sought to present herself as a victim, claiming yeah. she's been ridiculed, yeah. has received debt threats, and has struggled to find work. I mean... Scroll back to the top, by the way. How did she get out of this? There's something else I wanted to say here, and that is that the other headlines are, go back, are awesome. Illinois high school students attack a boy with Down syndrome. <laughs> uh, prominent DeSantis donor dies in apparent suicide during sexual... Jesus. What's that one? Is that I mean, there's a lot of fun going on in the New York I Post. I know. Um, what is this? A prominent DeSantis donor dies during sexual misconduct probe. Oh, oh, oh. So he killed himself during the probe. I thought it was during a sexual encounter, and I was like, oh, pull it up. Cool. Um, all right. Very interesting. Kent Sturman, 50, was found dead in a truck. He had been reported missing by his wife. Sturman was under investigation for alleged sexual misconduct at the time of his death. All right. So he was just shamed. I mean, can you, I'm just still thinking about how you manipulate a jury. It's crazy. To Also, part of it is that you're an attractive woman and there's a crazy homeless guy. Oh, yeah. And she's a mother yeah. of four. And she's like, I was so scared. Was and then there's so an eyewitness scared. going, she said, I'm not scared of you. <laughs> but then look at the picture of her when she was arrested. Yeah. Scroll up again. Yeah, Does that like, look like a terrified mother of four defending herself? I mean, her eyes are barely open. She's, yeah. That's because that Taco Bell is still digesting. <laughs> she looks pretty that, fucking aloof. That Corita, the Corito Crunch. Mm. I'm like, mm. Mm pretty hammered right now mm. i just shot a guy she's poured Jeez. water she's threatened to hit a baby with a brick yeah yeah she sounds like a cool lady can you reach out to her See if she wants to <laughs> come on the show turns out she's a pretty cool girl oh. she's part of the cool girls club Mm-hmm. very cool wow yeah it's pretty wild Man. um let's see wait here. so this lady on tiktok is gonna have those Dia de los Muertos tattoos removed, but can they remove them from your eyelids and under your eye? That had to have been really I think it's painful. Very painful, and I think that the treatment to remove them is painful, but I'll add, worth it. It's definitely <laughs> worth it. If you can even get it off fully. I mean, can you even get to a place where you look somewhat normal? I don't know. This poor uh, woman. Your weekly reminder that David Walter won <laughs> on Twitter is waiting for... Your weather-related questions. Uh, everybody in the Tom Segura Basement Club, head on over to Twitter <laughs> at David, W-O-L-T-E-R, the number one, and he is looking for weather questions. Only. Serious weather Serious questions Serious weather only. questions only. Prefers them DM'd, not in the comments. Go ahead and leave them in the comments. <laughs> Just your weekly reminder, guys. You will get this update uh, once a week for the remainder of this podcast's existence. <laughs> I love when these people have no idea what they've stepped into. It's your you, fault. You started you it. You kicked the hornet's nest, buddy. You're done, buddy. <laughs> You're done. Yeah. You don't even know what the mummies are capable uh, of. David. Don't be retarded. <laughs> Man. Oh, uh, speaking of. Yeah. I wanted to bring this up. I found this in my um, DMs. This this lady wrote to me, Joe, here's Joe on Instagram. In the UK, when we learn to drive, we have to have an R plate 
on our cars for the first year and can't do over 45 miles an hour, LOL. Isn't that? Stop using the R word. Go ahead. (laughs) Isn't that suck? You can't go over 45 miles an hour in the UK and you have an R plate on your car. Uh, So everybody knows. Everybody knows you're an R. Yeah. (laughs) That's pretty wild. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. I can't believe they do that. They just call you retarded the first year you drive. Big R. Yeah. What does that mean? Capital R. It means retarded. But it does not. Restricted. Restricted. Okay. But that was pretty funny. I thought that was pretty great. That is pretty great. Um, I got a fun one for you here. Sure. Do you remember this guy? Hello. Excuse me. <laughs> Can I talk to you, please, girl? Life feels like hell without a girlfriend. Someone to talk to, always think about, to make me a better person, and to bring the best out of me. And to enjoy the best for every young years to... Because I'm, I'm trying to sweat, girl. I want to lose some face fat so I can look sexy. There's nothing wrong with being horny, girl. It's part of life. Everyone's different. And he posts Gosh. this versions of this video non-stop yeah. They're everywhere and it's always the same thing i talked to you for a second beautiful and he's like we're gonna have hardcore passionate sex and it's always a thing you ride in my mercedes and he just does it over and over i got a thick damn pink dick it gets hard like a rock girl cool. i want you to jack it off baby and kiss my neck here you girl and i'll kiss your neck here you too girl it's very specific and play with your hair girl oh and grip my hands on your thighs baby and rub it up and down he doesn't blink. Yeah, uh, it's very. It's a good sign. Um, <laughs> uh, well, we got we got the very exciting news that our buddy was uh, on Ivar in Hollywood, oh. ran a red light. I'm sorry, you. I'm are you going to listen or are you going to talk? Okay, you're going to listen. I'm giving you a citation for taking that red light. You're a suspended driver license. You have a suspended driver's license. Okay. So I guess he ran a red light. He has a suspended license. Uh-oh. Can't be driving. Uh-oh. That man has been arrested before. When yeah, well, you stand knows. like that, you know exactly <laughs> what the fuck to do. <laughs> You've been processed. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you're listening, his feet are about like four feet apart. He's just yeah. like, go ahead, pat me down, stretch me out. <laughs> I don't care about being famous. All that shit means nothing to me. I don't care. Record me, take a picture, all that shit means nothing to me. We're all a bunch of fucking assholes. <gasps> Can't judge me, motherfucker. I got respect for law enforcement. Okay. I guess he did. I mean, it's got to be someone who recognizes him, obviously. Obviously. Well, he's in Los Angeles. This is where he's known. He's Glendale Gary. Yeah. Everybody knows. (laughs) He's straight a little bit from Glendale on Ivar. It's not too far. Oh, boy. Look at that face. Yeah. It's not a blinker, this guy. (laughs) That little. Oh, oh. Crazy town. I wonder if he's a good boyfriend, because I think that's... Is it the police officer next? Oh. Yeah. Hmm. What's up with you, baby girl? There you Uh-oh, go. there you go. George, on me. George. Yeah. you imagine that the thing about him is if you made the just a, a moment of weakness where you say yes to... Uh, you know, a drink with this guy. Oh my God. You know what I mean? You're stuck. He's going like, to stop you forever. You just happen to have that one moment where he's like, want to have lunch or whatever? And you're like, yeah. And you go and you're like, well, that was nice. And then he's like, I'll be there tonight too. And you're yep. like, no, I'm good. And then he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> starts rocking back and forth. Like, yep. Yeah. Doing all that to you. And you're like, um, because he's de- definitely suffering from something. Something's going on. He'll stalk you. He's going to be in front of your apartment. I love you, baby girl. Yeah. You're like, oh no, you Gary! You didn't jack me off today, girl. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, I know, I know. <laughs> fucking Gary's out front, Ugh. <laughs> doing his shit. The same fucking Fuck. shit. Why did I give this guy my fucking phone his number? Same my fucking address. Armo speech he gives us every fucking week. Yeah, 
<laughs> this fucking asshole. This guy. I'm sure law enforcement is familiar with him. Maybe not this group, but somebody. Somebody. In his, yeah, yeah. Glendale knows. Glendale. Him. Atwater Village <laughs> knows who he is. Yeah, for sure. They know who he is. He's a fucking menace. Yeah. God. He totally is. God. What a fucking. Weird Driving guy. with a suspended license. That's pretty ballsy no i mean yeah i mean you're always you're rolling the dice if you have a suspended license of and then course. he runs a red light yikes yeah yeah bad news bears homie mm. could go it could go really far south if you yeah depending on the cop too they could really i mean a suspended license they can do i don't even know if they're taking him in it sounds like they were just citing him and towing his car <laughs> they can take you in of course yeah yeah it's not good yeah i wouldn't be driving on that yeah you can just get, you can get pulled in anytime. Especially for California, that. right? I cannot work. See what I was going to do? Get me a two liter Coca Cola. Then it's going to go out to the liquor store and get me a small bottle. You know, just a little bitty bottle I can carry around. Well, here's how I do it. I go to, I go to the, the McDonald's. I get me a large Coke. Then I drink some of that out. And then I got to buy like five minutes right on my bike and go out to the liquor store. And then I get me a little bottle. <laughs> I take off. I do. I, I put me a little bit in my coat. Then I ride around a little bit. Bam! Yeah. This is one of your finds? No. I saw something. I don't know. Is that? I don't think so. Yeah. No. I think he's just sent in a master of accents type deal. <laughs> but he's got the fan. He's got holes in his brain. Check. <laughs> like big holes. You know that, right? Of course I know yeah. that. Yeah. No, he's completely There's fucked. A lot of missing things and a lot of gaps. <laughs> How do you get I'm that? I'm having McDonald's. And you know what I did? <laughs> what? I said, girl, I want just a large drink to go. She goes, okay. So okay. I went to pull the money out. Uh -huh. <laughs> I left my pipe in my pocket. But it crashed through the countertop. I nonchalantly picked it up, put it back in my pocket. Then I went in my other pocket where my bills were, and guess what? You know what? What? My medicine was in there, too. He hit the counter. I went, Girl, I'm sorry about that. She goes, no, that's okay. <laughs> I got my large drink and I got that. You went out of there and I, I went, you know. He sounds like a Looney Tunes character. Yeah. <laughs> so much drinking. So much drinking. Do you think that's man. just alcohol that does it to your brain? Yeah. But how much? Well, there's not a lot of reading in his life, but there is... There's plenty of booze. How much booze? Is it like a liter? You're drinking like a... It's consistency, too. He's been drinking for 55 years. I, mean, I don't think there's any days off. No days off. You know? No days off. No days off. <laughs> Just grind. Just grinding that, those, that booze every day. <laughs> and his pipe, he said. So he's smoking something. Smokes, <laughs> drinks, takes things, pills. Neato. And Neato. I got a date first. He's got a date. <laughs> Cool. Mm -hmm. This guy's got a date. He's got a date. I can't believe he's got a date. He's got a date. Yep. Yeah. Well, there's yeah. someone for everybody. Yeah. Bam. Bam. <laughs> 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 Those are drunk guy sounds. Bam. Bam. Two layer cock collar. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. Bullet. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should put these on my Burt page. <laughs> I think these are good for Burt. I have a Burt page. So. Is this how Burt's going to end up? Is that what you're saying? Well, I don't know. Burt Kreisinger. Burt Krishna. Bullet. Burt Burt Kershaw. Two layer cow collar. Bruce Kreiser. Be half. Be half. Be half. Two layer cow collar. Stop it. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh. My eyes hurt. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> Oh, yeah. just oh, we got this guy's. Ben. I'm glad we know this guy's name. His is name is Dwayne Crawford. Of course, it's Dwayne. Yeah, Dwayne. Dwayne. Wait, is it Coca Cola? Huh? Is yeah. that what he's saying? I two liter. I got two liter Coca Cola. <laughs> two liter Coca Cola. Two liter Coca Cola. 
I got two in a cup of cola. Me ha. Me ha. Me ha. What's <laughs> that? <laughs> <laughs> Dumb sounds. Me ha. Yeah. Me <laughs> Yeah. 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 Me ha. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking retarded. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That uh, was funny. You know what's, um, <laughs> what's cool also what? that I thought about was, um, do you remember this guy? Hey, don't do that, man. <laughs> Don't, for real, don't tattoo your forehead. <laughs> you really tattooing your forehead? Oh, man. Oh, no. <laughs> so drunk. You got such cool... T- <laughs> <laughs> you got that one. You did... Woo! <laughs> he looks cool. It's fucking ripped, bro. He looks good. He's on his way. Hairline? Oh. Just, need to, just, just tap in your whole hairline. Oh, Bubba, goddamn, <laughs> stop, dude. Come on. Oh, jeez. <laughs> How ripped do you have to be? Pretty drunk. To do your yeah. face, bro. Yeah. Isn't that cool? That's his face, homie. Yeah. He's got the square root of 87 there, faded. Oh, that's an eight ball. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, there's hold on. Let me find this other one I got for you. Well, there's that guy. See what I was going to do? Go get me a two liter Coca Cola. What? What do you think makes it a great town? Oh, I can. Let me get more in the car, man. All the doors with more of that. Not all the other door. Yeah. Yeah. The tourists around. The tourists don't get out, man. It's great, isn't it? Great. Give me the job away. <laughs> That's just what's your poos. favorite thing about Killarney? <laughs> Give me a car on my bed, sing it. Shut it in. Give me a car on my bed, sing it. Give me my bed, sing it. Give me a car on my bed, sing it. Yeah? it Good player. <laughs> That's <laughs> wild. Right, I'm not even trying to him there. The good man. That's wild. He speaks English. <laughs> it no. gets me every really? time. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bam. Yeah. That's just drunk. Tell me if you think this is a good idea or not. We're going to go with the Jarvis. <laughs> Jarvis. Yeah. Good idea. <laughs> you know, there's another. There's another one. From that era of a big fat. Drunk Irish guy, remember him? He's the one who's like, mm, that they did the the vocal fry song from. That's how he talks. He's like, I'm going to throw up. Yeah. Stop. I can't. I can't laugh anymore. It hurts. Really? Okay. Bam. Two layers. Cock, cock. Right. I'm not enjoying them there. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it makes me laugh so hard because, like, that's just booze. It's like, just booze. You fuck your own brain up that hard that you can't even talk anymore. Yep. Like, babe, I'm being realistic. Is this like how much alcohol does this take? I mean, I don't know the exact amount, but it's a lot. What I'm trying to say is, is two glasses of wine a night gonna do this to me? Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. Yeah. Will I be okay? Because this is horrible. It's a lot. These guys are... <laughs> God, I wish I still had that guy. I wish I did. I don't know. Hello. Pretty quick, Jane. I like the swimming. He's swimming. He's fine. Babe. What? I don't. <laughs> I think he's just drunk, too. <laughs> I don't think he's drunk, baby. You don't? Something's going on here. Yeah, something's going on. You're drinking too much. You don't think he's drinking? No, baby. Why? <laughs> Why do you think he's drinking? Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. Could, yeah, he's super drunk. You got it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You don't, Why do you think that guy's drunk? He's just fucking this idiot. Okay. This guy. All right. Ah, you're saying it at a bad hotel, I can tell, though. Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> it's not great. 
It's not a good one. No. It's not fancy. No. Anyway, yeah, alcohol will do it to you. You've been drinking a lot. <laughs> <laughs> this is your future. <laughs> drinking a lot? Yeah. What? Yeah. What have I been doing? You've been drinking like that. Yeah. No, I have not. <laughs> That's you. That is not me. <laughs> yeah. Babe. Yeah. The holidays, sweetie, is the I holidays. Know. No, I know, I know. I had to drink to deal with your relatives, you know what I mean? The relatives. I don't blame you. How do you stay sober around, you know, family? It's I a think lot. that's really tough. Yeah. You have to listen, as fit as we are, you have to a lot for alcohol consumption over the holidays. Yeah. You have to comfort yourself somehow. It's a lot. I can't stay sober with kids. And, and there's more family coming. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. What do you mean? Well. Shit. It's the holidays. I know. Yeah. Anyway, I'll lighten the mood. You guys want to hear a cool Pajitsky effect? Sure. <clears throat> There's two of them actually. This one I got as a DM from R E Arise. I don't know who this is. It says hi, mommy. Um, she says that she loves us. You are true the best. So my whole life, I've always hated to wash my legs <clears throat> in the shower because when you bend down. To do so, the water would run on your face, and that's always bothered me. What? I don't really know why, but it just does. Do you understand what she's saying? Yeah, if you bend over. Then all the water goes into your eyes and into your ears okay. and your face, okay? Um, so most of the time, I just wouldn't wash my legs, and that's pretty nasty. Today it hit me that I could just lift my legs up and be able to reach them just fine without bending over. I'm 39. It's totally changed my shower game, and I will no longer have nasty unwashed legs. Jesus. I thought that was pretty funny, because I'm pretty sure I'd do the same thing. And I'm like, but I can't wash my legs, because the, the water does in my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't really wash my legs. Yeah, I'm not a big leg legs. washer. No. I feel like it just all the soap goes down there and it's fine. And Basically, like, your thighs get some residual crotch soap. You yeah, know? <laughs> that's fine. You're like, all right, legs here. But yeah. I'm not going to bend down, wash behind my knees. I don't stuff. do that. Yeah. Do you guys do that? Who does Trickle that? Trickle down. All Trickle the time. down. Yeah, yeah, it's I, not necessary. I just shampoo my hair and then everything else is like, all right, I'll get the pits and that's it. You do it all, Annie? I got some nasty ass feet, huh? <laughs> you, you, you get down there and scrub them? Of course. They're dirty, man. That's like the dirtiest part of your fucking body. One of them. Wow. It's nasty, man. Especially all the... It, it, okay, here's what you're actually washing down. It ain't the soap. It's the fucking dirt that you're washing down right on your feet. You ain't gonna, you gonna do nothing about that. Oh my God, I didn't even gonna... think about that. <laughs> and he's right. He's right. You're standing in a pool of your own dirty dish well, it, soap. It goes down the drain. Yeah, but he's right that it's the dirties and you're right. standing and then you pee in the... Obviously, everyone pees in the shower. And then you pee on those feet and stuff. You don't pee in the shower? Uh, I'm just Liar. not saying everybody does that, you know? That's, yeah. that's not like a normal... You pee in the shower. Oh, I pee in the shower. I do. Yeah, I practically would take a dump in the shower if I could. Oh. I just... Okay, I don't wash my legs, but I do understand her line of thinking. Because I bent over to shave my legs. I only do disaster. leg or foot washing... If there is something specific, like like I said, you step on tar at the beach, you know, like, I got yes. But like on a regular day, I'm not like I got to scrub my calves and my feet. No, no, I don't do my. I do wash my feet when I do pedicures, and I like to keep them clean. Sure, but it's not every day. I'm, I guess I am nasty like that. Yeah, I don't care. Um, so that's one Pajitsky effect, and then this one. You heard the phrase brass tax? Yeah. How would you spell that? Nadav, brass tax. Have you heard the phrase? I have. Down to brass tax. Uh huh. How would you spell that? B R A S S space T A X. Tom, what do you think? That's how I would spell it too. Down to brass tax. And what do you think that means? Brass tax. The, uh, the, the num, like the bare, let's get down to like the, the amount that this is about, like what's the, I'm not articulating it well. Right, like the bottom like, line. What's the bottom the line? Number. Okay. Yeah. So I was reading a UK publication today. Like what's the real costs of this, right? Right. Yeah. Which you're right. That is yeah. the meaning. But did you know that it was spelled brass, B-R-A-S-S, 
tax, T-A-C-K-S, brass tax. So back when they would make measuring fabric easier, right? <laughs> fabric measures. Owners would hammer brass tax at common intervals, a yard, oh. half yard, and quarter yard. So after the customer picked the cloth, the clerk would say something like, okay, I'll measure. So let's get down to brass tax. Literally. And I thought my whole life, it was T-A-X as well. So I, I read it today. You also changed my mind. Just blew yeah. your fucking mind, huh? That's one of those things where you hear and you go, Bleh. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yep. Real. Blech. Real mine opener. Blech. Brass tax is like yardage. <laughs> yeah. It's not money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brass tax. <laughs> That's how you get there. Wow. Yeah. So you put tax in Who, like, the material. Message this in? No. Oh, you just I happened was, to see this. I was reading like a UK newspaper and they used the phrase brass tax. And I was like, oh my God. My whole life I've been saying. Do you know what the whole nine yards is from? Football? No. Oh. No, it, it comes from loading the weapons, uh, the, the putting like ammo into like World War II planes. Whoa. So when they would land on like an aircraft carrier, they would say, load them up, how much? The whole nine yards. So the whole nine yards was fill it up all the way. With ammo. With ammo. Yeah. Wow. And the dog's tits, of course, is a British expression from World War II as well, from Winston Churchill. No. Yeah. Because he was a dog who had tits? No, it was about the fact that the like farms and everything was being bombed, so you couldn't get milk from the traditional sources. So the dog's tits was meant to mean the next best source of getting the thing you need. You know? Shut the front door. Mm-hmm. And Winston Churchill came up with that one. Mm -hmm. That guy was cool. Mm -hmm. I really liked him. Do you know that he was such a lazy fat that he would work from bed and from his bathtub? Mm. And he was just like, "Look, yeah, of I'm, I'm a fat fuck. I like you know to lay who, in my tub who and who lay in my bed." Who adores him is uh, Bertrand. Oh, of course. He celebrated Winston Churchill Day. Oh, cool. Yeah. He did because he's he liked to. Well, it's a day where you can you're supposed to like sit in bed because his day was like bed. Yeah. Uh, he would have a cigar, a whiskey. Uh, eggs, toast, sausage, then get out of bed, then smoke again. <laughs> I love it. Then have, so he does it once, Bert does it once a year, I think. I love him. I like And him. he lived long. Didn't he live long? Yeah. And he was a good prime minister. He was, a, he was an actual leader. Yeah. I guess they say, I don't know. I mean, people, I guess uh, they're the anomalies, star. but you look at someone like that and you're like, I guess you can really push it. Yeah. 90. 90 years old and a, a guy that just ate sausage and smoked and drank every day. It's a lot of it's genetics. Yeah. He really is. I mean, I've said it before. I have relatives in Hungary. that it's five, six. I didn't realize he was that oh, small. Oh, he's a tiny little buddy. Tiny yeah. little tiny king, as they yeah. say. Mm -hmm. A short king. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter sometimes. And then people that are in good health have aneurysms and drop dead. It's crazy. Right? I knew somebody that had an aneurysm and died at 21. No. Yeah, he was a model. Damn. He was my mom's friend's son. That sucks. Mm -hmm. One time with Dr. Drew, I was like, am I going to have an aneurysm? Am I going to die of a stroke? And he's like, oh, Christina, there's signs, okay? There's, a, there's things that happen before you have an aneurysm. You don't just have one and die. It's not going to happen to you. It's not likely. Mm. And I was like, and this was many years ago this happened to this kid, but Ooh, so young. 21. Yeah. What are the signs for an aneurysm? Let's look so that we don't have one. Fuck. I want you to know that I haven't burped or farted this entire podcast. No. Nausea and vomiting, okay. stiff neck, blurred or double vision, sensitivity to light, seizure, a, drop, a drooping eyelid, loss of consciousness, confusion. In addition to severe headache, those are some signs and symptoms of a ruptured aneurysm. God damn it. Yeah. This kid died in the shower. Oh, it's heartbreaking. Yeah. Life is so cruel. Yeah. He had everything going for him. And he was hot. He was a good looking kid. Modeling. Yeah. So lucky. And he was on a national championship football team. Dang. Yeah. Hmm. Pretty wild. Well, thanks for bringing us up, Tom. <clears throat> you brought up aneurysms. You know, do you want to look at celebrities with bad plastic surgery? Sure. <laughs> Apropos our discussion, 
on your mom's house live. Yeah, if you missed the live, we got into the fact that uh, everyone's good buddy. <laughs> What's this dipshit's name? Simon, Simon Cow. Yeah. He used to look like a guy. And then <laughs> he started having <laughs> fucking shit done to his face, which is the craziest place to do it. You know? When you change your face. Especially, by the way, if you have, um, like, not a bad start to begin with. I know. It's one thing, like, I remember this fucking... <sighs> donkey face girl in uh jesus high school who had donkey face yeah she was like a donkey came to life and she had plastic <laughs> surgery at a very young age she needed it okay she looked but like, that's the best time to do it is like yeah. 13 years old get your nose job and everything she, she looked no it's true that's what jewish true. girls did in la you didn't notice that don't tell me you didn't know that in between seventh and eighth grade all the fucking the girls got their bat mitzvah and then you get your nose done. That's like standard issue, can't, LA. Yeah, can't confirm a lot of Jewish girls Thank do that. You. Yeah. Go ahead, Tom. Okay. Well <laughs> this broad did it and everybody was like, Thank you. You don't have to <laughs> look at this thing anymore. And Gee. you know, but this guy, he just looked like a normal guy. Right? Like Simon Cowell just looked if you didn't if he wasn't famous, so he was like describe this man, you'd be like, I don't know. A regular guy, full head of hair, nice enough face. And he's like, I need to be the fucking this guy. <laughs> and then, ooh, just looks all crazy. crazy now. Like, oh, I can't stop thinking about it. And like, what did he do here? Because it's all hollow. I don't know. It's I don't all understand. weird. He, Why is he it hollow? just got weird on everybody, you know? People oh, get weird. Fuck, dude. He and didn't have to. That's what I'm saying. And the guy on the left, much more normal looking what guy. What did he do? Any fucking way. Oh, yeah. That's a crazy one. Mickey Rourke. So he was like a Hollywood. Fuck. Uh, like a sex symbol. Hottie. A hottie. Just banging whatever he wanted. He also decided to become a boxer. Mm. So he got into like really got into like taking fights real fights mm. became obsessed with boxing basically left acting doesn't even slightly resemble no what it used to look like pretty crazy it's unrecognizable so but he also has something where he may have done some things for his own cosmetic purposes but then also some of this might be facial reconstruction from getting his face i think rearranged. so i think because i i was obsessed with this for a minute the mm -hmm. mickey rourke one yeah because he was so beautiful. When I was a little girl, he was just this big sex symbol. Sure. And I couldn't believe how different he looks. So yeah, some of that is from getting his nose smashed as sure. a fighter, I read. Yeah. So they had to reconstruct I mean, that. even the way his mouth is shaped now. It doesn't Yikes. Look, it's, it's so crazy. And then he, got, he went for the bright, 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 bright veneers. Yeah. Which I have to say, guys, don't get veneers just for like hey, I think I want my teeth to look like, like they're really awful. I, I only have the front two done because I knocked half of one of my teeth out as a yeah. kid and I have to have fake teeth, but I would never recommend doing it. It's no. extremely painful and not very good. They just pop out at random. Very <laughs> like, strange. They're terrible. Don't get veneers. If you can avoid it, don't do it. Oh, I know. She was gorgeous. I know. And what she did... I think this is just more really resisting aging. Like yeah. she probably was aging just fine, but it's like, this is Courtney Cox. If you're yeah. listening that we're looking at and it just seems like, you know what it I just think stands it out as not natural. That's it's, the thing. Cause you want not. your facelifts and, and your cosmetic stuff to look somewhat natural. Yeah. And this just doesn't look like it at all. I think what happens, so I've learned that the cheeks, when they get real round like that, mm -hmm. that's too much filler. Yeah. And you look like chip chipmunk cheeks. Yeah. So that's that's overfill. And then the lips. Once she you start on lips, lips yeah. yeah. I think it's just too, maybe too and much And her filler. forehead's probably not moving anymore either. Oh, no, no, no. That hasn't moved in a decade or yeah. two. Yeah. You look Don't crazy. Know. Yeah. Oh, Donatella Versace. Yeah. yeah. This one's crazy too. But this one you kind of saw coming. I'm not surprised at Donatella Versace. Well, she's Versace. Yeah, like this one, you this is a total Miami, typical, broad, yeah. crazy town. But look at the eyes. Like, what did she do there? And the lips, like the shape of everything. Yeah. Very, so different. Very crazy. 
Very crazy. Oh, that one's the darkest. That looks good. He looks good. <laughs> On the right there? I mean, it looks Michael like the same Jackson. guy. Just had like a little touch done. Yeah, that's full body dysmorphia. Complete, you know, complete Psycho. psychological nightmare where you don't want to even resemble in the least bit who you were before no i mean and, there's skin bleaching the oh. nose look at the nose and remember when he he said that he never had anything done i've never had anything done yeah he yeah. would he told like martin Bashir, like i've never had anything Nothing. done i know somebody who's had a number of surgeries yeah who will look you in the eye and say the same thing and you're like okay famous person mm -hmm. i'll tell you please do yeah, this one's scary. And, and here's the thing is that how do plastic surgeons, how do you destroy Michael Jackson's nose? Like, well, how are you the guy? Here's how. He fucking sits you down and is like, I love it. Like, keeps telling you and you're like, you know, your nose is going to, he's like, no, nah, that's what I want. And it's, it's the guy telling you, this is my dream. Because the problem of being as famous as he is, is that there's always going to be someone to go, sure, I'll do it. So that's a problem. Yeah. You can just buy it. And like they We're put like, it, if you went in and you're like, I want this nose. You're like, get the fuck out of here. Be like, no, not I'm ruining not your that. face. And like the cleft, he put the cleft in the chin, which is always interesting <sighs> to make his face more, I guess, yeah. masculine. And everybody thought Michael Jackson so was like weird. a handsome yeah, dude. He was like, fine. Yeah. Like I would say. That's the, why it's all in his. It's all in his head. Yeah. The beat it. Okay. Beat it. Michael Jackson. Yeah. So adorable. Billy Jean. Michael yeah. Jackson. Adorable. And then by bad, it starts to go off the rails. Then the nose is too thin. He gets pastier and weirder. The lips get redder. Yeah, the hair yeah. gets longer. It goes south. Thinness, yeah. But I would say Billie Jean is, yeah, there's Maria, what, not Maria Presley. Priscilla. Priscilla Presley. Yeah. yeah, she was gorgeous too. And then she did way too much shit to her face. To your face. Fuck, dude. I would just rather look old than look weird. You have to choose between old and weird. That's yeah. it. Either you're old or you're weird. There's no way around it. Yeah. Fuck, dude. She was gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Ray Liotta. Yeah. Rest in peace. Oh, yeah. He's dead. He died earlier this year. Fuck. Yeah. Karen. 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 It's all the money we had. <laughs> he does have good hair, though, even there in that crazy face. Yeah. <laughs> so what did he do? He, his eyes look... It's all not good. None of it's yeah. good. Yeah. What did yeah. he do? Filler. There's injectables there. He had a real fucking mug on him, too. Yeah. Like he was considered sexy, but he still wasn't like traditional. No. Handsome, you know? He was like rugged. Like he looked like he'd been to jail. Like, yeah. You know, yeah, he was like yeah, a yeah. bad boy look. But then he got fucking cosmetic surgery and you're like, oh, softens. Boy. What happens when the men get cosmetic surgery, it can soften their faces, I've yeah. heard. Like yeah. it'll make you, it'll feminize you when they get like I see that. the eyes angled. It's way too feminine. And they put filler in his face. It's way fat. Don't let me do this shit, okay? Fucking never, bro. And don't let me do it, okay? I show up one day and I'm like, <laughs> Welcome to your mom's house. I yeah, don't know. Big supporter of that idea? That. I think it'd be very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Very, very cool. But I do think the secret is to stay thin. Because when you get old well, you gotta and choose. fat. That's what you choose. Fuck. You choose one of two things. You know what they are? What? Your face. Yeah. Or your body. Right, with fat. With fat. If you want to look not as wrinkled, you got to have a little bit of fat on you. Yeah, I know. If you want your body to stay rocking, but you are just like, I'll be wrinkled, then you, you lose the fat, right? You got to do one you thing. You pick one. You got to pick one. And you can't do drugs, and you yeah. can't drink a lot. You can drink some. You can drink, <laughs> you can drink like, you know. <laughs> like you can't that. drink like that. You can drink like that. And then you're fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't drink like that. <laughs> <laughs> if you drink <laughs> that amount, yeah, you'll your body will fall. Everything will fall apart. Mm -hmm. but it's fun, it's interesting. You do have to pick face or bod. You do. I think it really starts to happen. You really got to make the choice, like in your sixty. Like that's when it's. I mean, some people obviously make the choice well before, but if you have the, like, you know. You can start going like, I'm just going to let these wrinkles settle in. I'm wrinkled. I'm old. I'll take care of my body. I lost the bet. Fuck. <laughs> Bam. Yeah. She uh, lost. Man. Maybe stretch your jaw out a little bit. <laughs> Where's that chick from last go, week? Uh, uh, uh. Damn it. Yeah. Damn it.
So defeated. So defeated. I'd still say thin is better no matter what because you'll live longer because you don't see many old fatties out in the world. You mm-hmm. got to stay thin. It's just better for you. Who cares how you look? No one wants to fuck you anyway when you're that old. Yeah, you're done. Who cares? Who's banging Ray Liotta when he looks like that anyway? Probably a couple of PAs. Fine. Some trash hounds. <laughs> He's like, yeah, what are you? You're in college? Bend over. Jesus. <laughs> You're in college. Uh, yeah. I'm Chantix. I'm chewing gum. <laughs> Chantix. You ever see good fellas? Chantix. What's that? <laughs> All right, come here. Come here. Get on your knees. Jesus. <laughs> Chantix. <laughs> come on. Come on. Bend over. Spread your cheeks. What is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> um, somebody said that they have uh, sent me a version of Tatted Up Charo in here. Oh, uh, yeah. That's fun. I haven't seen this. Have you seen this? Yes. It's it pretty lo- great. It's pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> It does look like Tatty Charo. Charo. Yes, the lips. It's all the. Oh, I can't wait to show her, like, Mom. <laughs> when did you do this? <laughs> <laughs> that was right before she took ten thousand dollars from me. Oh my god! Do you know what I, I got your mom for Christmas? What's that? It's like a full blowout kit, like from that company dry bar. Yeah. It's a full like special hair dryer, special hair products, like just to help her with that mop. No, it looks great. Her hair looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> Shemp. <laughs> Do you need help putting your groceries in your car? <laughs> That's what she looks like. Welcome to Randall's. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, she does look like a little R-word at there. Yeah, she does. <laughs> it's the, totally the haircut, too. Like, I think because someone just put a bowl on her head and then cut around it. You can't do that. She's um, a woman. She found somebody that do, does it at their house, <laughs> uh, doesn't cut hair for a living, and doesn't like the lights turned on. And she's like, I did, can you believe I got this for $65? Cut, color, and yeah. I'm like, yeah, I do believe it. You can. It looks terrible. Yeah, it looks, you look like shit. Yeah. 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 It does look like not good. Yeah. Not good, bro. Yeah. Charo. Much Don't respect. be retarded. Well, maybe you shouldn't be with your haircuts. At least brush it. I need to help her. Yeah. She needs all the help she can get. Yeah. And I bought her bras like a few years ago. She's not wearing those. Why not? She said, it's too tight. It's too tight. I'm like, the, the, go get, just go get the different size up. Get fitted for Look. it. Yeah. Tit us by her stomach. Yeah. Her. <laughs> she told me that when she dies, that her... I'll try. I'll be a part of the team that tries to change her for some reason. Like you know, get her dressed for the funeral. Oh no! And that her tits will be tucked into her stomach, <laughs> and they will have trouble taking. And then she was like, "And then you can tell your fans," and they will all laugh. Ah ha 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 ha! Her tits are in her stomach. This is her stuff, and I was like, "Yeah, it's good stuff, mom." Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure they'll all be LOLing. I tried it. You did? I did. Yeah, I tried it at the show that she came to. And they liked it. They liked it. Yeah. <laughs> I actually, you know what I did? I go, uh, I was talking about my dad That's and I go, point. you know, my mom died. And then the audience was like, I go, she died earlier today. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, I'm just kidding. She's here. <laughs> She's here. Yeah. And then I was like, no, she called me. And, and then I told the story of how she called me and said, I bet you can't wait till I die so you can talk about it on stage. Oh. And then, then everyone laughed. I go, hey, I guess she was right. You guys seem to like it a lot. So <laughs> I was like, come on, mom. Uh, I wonder yeah. too, when they, you know, when they embalm you and stuff, like yeah. how would her boobs look? I don't know. Like, do they fill them up? I don't think so. They I don't think they them? go, we got to fill these tits up. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so unflattering if they lay you on, on your back and then they're just flat pancakes. They got to put some fluid in there to make them look nice. That's true. They should. They should. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just curious how many CCs I'm going to get. I should probably neg- negotiate that. I'm sure now. we can get somebody that works at a <laughs> funeral home on the line, figure it out. Give me a nice full C. Nothing bigger than a C. I don't want to horrify people. So if your tits droop, you're like, well, give me a little lift. Exactly. Because you don't want total pancakes because you're yeah. laying on your back. It's not flattering. It's I've not seen flattering your mom laying on her back a lot, like in her Not pajamas. dead yet, though. Not no. dead. No. 
But it's not it's not flattering for any woman. My goodness. Well, you know, there's a couple secrets to this. What's that? Well, it's funny you ask. This is the triangle of beauty. Uh oh. What happens as we age? Oh Christ! Is our eyes closer together? All this frou frou down here comes down, and we get wider down at the bottom, <laughs> and. Uh, Slimmer through here where we want chuggy, chuggy. I want chuggy cheeks. I like her. The triangle metaphor doesn't <laughs> work, right? I don't know. The triangle had nothing to do with that. <laughs> she just put her face through a stupid paper. <laughs> he just looks so grossed out. Chuggy cheeks? You don't want to kiss old chuggy cheeks? You don't want to kiss chuggy cheeks? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I would love to force you on a date with her. <laughs> Very cool, Tom. Thank you. I mm. wish you she had to sit on your face. <laughs> oh, what are, you, what are we doing? <laughs> uh, but what I'm do doing God, just ripped. is turning the triangle of you oh, uh. this way and taking my face uh -huh. back. To a more youthful shape. How does the and triangle? If you follow along, I've got my page is full of the devices I'm using to change my face. Okay. You know, I'll say this: she doesn't look bad for sixty-seven no, years old. No, not at all. Really, I mean, no. she really doesn't. She looks great. Yeah. I don't know if it has anything to do with the triangle of beauty, but you know, I think she could probably. Stop getting a haircut where my mom does, but I think that other than that, you know, yeah, her and Adab are going to have a happy life together. I think that. I think that'd be nice. <laughs> in the triangle booty. Yeah, we got to um, get everybody to get in touch with her. We got to get in touch with her. You got to get in touch with her. Yeah. 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 You got to take her out. You got to take her out. Yeah. I have to take her out. Yes. Okay. And sleep with her. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Ah, new beauty. I met so it. I had a great time last Check night. Check it out. Face fit. Face fit. Oh, this shit really works. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, yeah. She loves you. That's how she's going to talk. This is just picture the dog's dick as that thing, and she's going to yeah. do that to her. Ooh. <clears throat> Imagine that's your dick, Nadav. Oh, yeah, it looks exactly like that. And this is what she's doing to it. Oh. 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 You're just in heaven. You're in heaven. She's making oh, those yeah. noises. I don't like it. It's at so all. cool you found a new lane to uh to make me feel really uneasy that don't involve legs breaking. Oh yeah. 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 And this kind of special time. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Do we have any of those? Hmm. I don't. I don't like the whole ooing and awing either. A dove. Ooh. Oh, it's like ooh. Doesn't feel good. Yeah. Hey, you just burped too. He just burped. Yeah. So I, after you lost the. I know, but you still burped one time on the show. What? I'm just That's, pointing out that you just burped too. Like you're gross too. You're no. gross too. Hearing no. gross. No. You burped too though. Okay. I'm There's, not saying that I win anything. I'm just. I'm acknowledging that you're disgusting too. Ah. Uh, didn't realize you just that. farted too? No, nah, I'm trying to. So but, am I ready? Yeah. Did All you right. hear it? Yeah. yeah. Yes. You're winning. <laughs> <laughs> Nadav, did you see that there was a, a Virginia Tech sports show that they used your laugh? A Virginia Tech sports show? Yeah, they used your laugh in their video. I don't think I saw that. Here it is. Inflation is getting really out of hand, but that's just my five cents. <laughs> what did one wall say to the other wall? I'll meet you at the corner. <gasps> oh my God. I was trying to figure that one out too. What's red and smells like blue paint? Red paint. <laughs> That's my laugh. You tried so hard to think of the answer. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm really excited for the autopsy club I just joined. Tuesday is open mic night. 
That's a good one. <laughs> That's you guys. Oh my god! This Jew motherfucker is going to be coming after Virginia Tech's ten percent. I'll tell oh, you. Nice, that. nice. Dang. Go Hokies. Um, pretty cool. Sinister. You can't take Arna Dobbs laugh. They took Arna Dobbs laugh. That's Arna Dobbs laugh. Yeah. Get your own fucking J. Yeah. You can't take our J's laughter. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Get yourself a J laugher. Yeah. God. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's been ours for like a, how long now? I don't know. Lots of years. I can't do math in J time, but a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's our J. Yeah. He's not your J, fucking asshole. There you go. Stupid. Do we have any talks? Oh, boy. What? Yeah. Don't say it like what that. What was your most painful tattoo? Honestly, it varies by the day. Sometimes different places feel different. Depending on where I'm at, it feels like, but probably the lower back or maybe the first time I had my fingers blacked out. That was a really traumatic experience. I always remember that day. So for me, the ones that form the biggest memory, probably the most painful ones. It's cool. These are guys that are completely blacked out, like white guys that are painted black with tattoos and they're talking about how it's painful mm -hmm. moving on whenever i'm deciding whether my video is good enough or not i ask myself this would solve it or dolly like it <laughs> another crown can i tell you something in the mind of ginger james this is madonna's new thing can i tell you something i could see you becoming like this so could i yeah <laughs> Like a couple things. I know. Yeah. A couple of notches to the right. Yeah. I know. And you're doing these. I agree. I, I'm not far off. I think that's partially why I'm obsessed with like this type of weirdo stuff and Madonna and stuff. I'm like, dude, I'm like one. This is a prayer for the world. You'd be making these. I'm like a few pill addictions away from doing weird stuff. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like really, if I didn't have children or you or anything like just me and drugs that's what fucking will happen yeah that's just drugs these, yeah. dude right totally. drugs in a camera yeah pretty wild oh man it's seven in the morning what's she doing putting on um eyelashes it's seven in the morning <laughs> just putting eyelashes on a woman in the airport like at lash extensions at 7 a.m. In the airport. It's so unsanitary. Mm. Like at fucking LAX waiting All area. that shit I've seen, like the craziest thing is definitely to see people trimming their nails, I think. I think so. It's That's disgusting. Wild to do that in public. Or filing your nails. It's crazy. I've seen it. I've seen it at the gate. I've seen it on planes. Mm -hmm. Or brushing. Even I would say brushing your hair. Yeah. And like your, you know, your dandruff and your Just hair goes flex. on other people. Yeah, yeah. It's so disgusting. You have to be 100% savage to be at work and get a twin pack of chili cheese dogs out the vending machine and eat it. Because, oh no, I got one better. A rack of rib sandwich, bro. <laughs> that is the nastiest. That's guaranteed <laughs> diarrhea. Like, out of the, you take a bite of that and your insides just pour out of you. Oh, <laughs> in a vending machine? I mean, the chili hot dog in a vending machine yeah that is uh Yo. that's the kind of your stomach's gonna go <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yo and the other one's a barbecued rack o ribs in like i From don't know a vending machine fuck that I mean, when was that thing even sealed up dude that shit better have let's been... talk about barrier free or more specifically, the taboo of having fluid bonding with multiple polyamorous yes. partners. The main arguments I hear against it are, well, if I have a kid, I want to know who the other biological parent is. That's fair if you're trying to get pregnant. And of course, we want to minimize transmission of STIs. Side note, a positive test doesn't mean you're transmissible, so let's not get those mixed up. But yeah, <laughs> to be clear, no one is saying, go forth, be reckless. Mm -mm. The thing is that a lot of us can treat fluid bonding as an indicator <laughs> of who emotionally matters more. Like, I saw it that way for a long time. Even if there was transparency and testing and trust with everyone, it still hurt my feelings that they wanted that with somebody else, right? I still felt threatened. I felt disgusted. 
even. Why? For me, it came from monogamy culture of still wanting a form of exclusivity to <laughs> signify I'm emotionally safe, right? It also came from <laughs> purity culture of to being be raised emotions. to think that I should save this one special thing for the most important person. But I I'm just, trying to divest from those schools of thought. And those motives divest, went unchallenged and unexamined for years because of the easily justifiable health concerns. Now, I'm not in the business of telling anyone how to be in the bedroom. You're grown. Choosing fluid bonding, monogamy, or polyfidelity is <laughs> poly fine. Fidelity. I just want to encourage encourage self-inquiry, figure out why we want what we want, right? So we're not just operating on monogamous autopilot. Wow. <laughs> Did you understand half of what the fuck this broad saying? I also think that doesn't a positive STI test mean you're positive for that? Well, and, it means you're positive. She's saying that you won't necessarily transmit that to somebody else. But chances are you will if you're no, positive. Not necessarily. Yeah. Not necessarily. I mean, you could carry... Um, the herpes virus. I think it's a lot. Like for instance, it. there's a there's STIs that a woman can have that she it's harder for her to transmit them to a okay, male. All right, I yeah. guess you're on poly side. Well, I follow here. this account every day, so I. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I, thank you for thank you for educating me. Yeah, That's and what also they say. it feels like she's just working at her own shit on TikTok, right? Big like this is all are, yeah. just all her inner dialogue that she thinks really needs to <laughs> go to the masses. Yeah. 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 Well, one of the biggest times that women feel horny is when they can't have it. When you ain't chasing them down, that makes women well horny. <laughs> it's a very cool video. <laughs> they should like that. Yeah. His ceiling is so low. Very low. I don't know where he is. Is he in a garage? That's I don't a know where he is. Bright light on him, too. He lit himself up well. <laughs> He's a handsome dude. I feel like. I feel like I'd be like, oh, yeah, you're safe to come in. And then I'd hear him talking like, oh, shit, we got a wild one. <laughs> I know, because generally the whacked out ones don't look this handsome. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was a little confusing for me at first. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, he, you probably felt kind of <laughs> horny when you saw this. <laughs> Super horny. Because you're not chasing him. Super horny. He's, he's, not, he's not chasing. He's got that cool accent, too, where it's like he barely read, but he... One of the biggest times that women Tons. feel horny, horny is when they can't have it. Can't have it. When you ain't chasing them down. He's cockney. That makes women well horny. Well, well horny. horny. Yeah. Yeah, he's not like, he's he didn't go to Eaton. Mm-mm. No. <laughs> so cute. You're looking at a hairless cat and the owner is rubbing it down in coconut oil and it looks so cute. Is that the cutest thing you've ever seen? It's pretty cute. Rubbing a hairless cat down in coconut oil. That is pretty cute. I want you to do this for me, babe. Oh, there's another one. Another stone being removed from a homeless person's mouth. Remember I told you I got heavy into these? And that's fucked up. That guy just pulled out. He didn't even, like, break it up. He just pulled that out. It's just buildup of, like, plaque and stuff. Okay. That was too mean, right? <laughs> You ever wonder how they mix the tortilla? <laughs> Sanitary, huh? <laughs> well, that's melted butter, guys. That's how they make your butter. <laughs> that's what we're ending on, huh? That was a nice way to take it home. Uh, isn't that horrible? Yes. God, I never want to eat whatever that is. Yeah. <laughs> Two later, cow cow. Two later, cow cow. Okay. Well, that was traumatizing. Fun day. I can't believe I lost the bet to you. Burping. You did. You did lose the burp. I was burp, so burp unconscious. Bet. Yeah. Just because you're such a pig, you don't realize that you do it all the time. That's so rude. That's true. Oh. I had chilantro for lunch. It's Korean food mixed with Mexican food. What did you think was going to happen? You? Do I don't that. know. I just. I don't want to do the math. You can just walk in the other room. We gotta get going, man. You do the math. You do the math. <laughs> oh, I had a bean burrito. I miss him. Yeah. And he was such a purist about his talent. He would never let us expose him. It was so rude. 
Yeah, he was awesome. He was a real that yeah, yeah. He was a real artist. Like he he didn't want the glory. <laughs> so good. S A R T. Yeah. <laughs> Fart. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so gross. Remember it? those girls in the shed? Or they would fart and they'd be like, ah, oh, that was such a nasty fart. Like oh. it was like those sexual fart they videos. They look over their shoulder and they're like, <laughs> what happened back there? Like you didn't know. I don't like yeah. that. <laughs> I don't like that. I do. No. Yeah. Push. Push. No, I don't like it. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> don't laugh, evil uh, demon. Okay. Let's go. Okay, you want to say goodbye to the audience? You just want to get up and leave. I want to get up and leave. All right. I love you guys. Thank you so much for listening. Um, It was a great episode. Tom, I love you. Love you too. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time right here on your mom's house. Okay. No. Okay. (laughs) Fart, yeah. Fart, yeah. Fart, yeah. Fart, yeah. Oh, come I have to come all over my face. I have to come all over my face. I have to come all over my face. So disrespectful. I have to come all over my face. So disrespectful. I have come all over my face. I have come all over my face. It's just like, it's just like, it's just like the gays. It's just like F A R T for the gays. F A R T for It's just like F A R T for the gays. F A R T for It's just like F A R T for the gays. F A R T for It's just like F A R T for That's not really my thing. For 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 I don't. I don't. Is this the show? (laughs) Hey, you just watched a full episode of your mom's house. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, watch another one. Maybe you'll like that one. They're everywhere. Look, I don't know. They place them in like cubes, squares, whatever it is. Just. Click another one. Maybe you'll find someone you like or someone will get hurt. 